Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay. Please, I'm dying. I need more. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fix. Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there.
That takes care of that. It, that thing would have killed us all without your help. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, you may as well take this map. That's where we were headed. But that Deathclaw cured me of my itch for Wasteland Adventure. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? Those... big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back.
This is bullshit. Come out and fight. Ah, uh, this is... You like that, huh?
Those who dwell here in this painted land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. No, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. As a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendent. Uh, huh? Yeah, what is it? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night, and I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, back to work. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem.
we stay true until the day of division. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. I re yeah, what is it? Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap... I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. And shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my
Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? That bastard. He's a... He's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, I used to work for that slob. Doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. You'd do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. Yeah? What is it? Who knows? Shoot myself up till I forget who I am? The wasteland sucks, kid. Just get used to it. Whatever.
Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? So, how's the scaving been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? No medicine at all? None? Seriously? <sighs> well, I guess I should have expected that. It's been a long time after all. But you certainly did research a couple of risks of those big stores. Tell me about it. That's a mighty callous attitude towards killing. But I guess they do the same for the food. Shame there wasn't any medicine. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people, especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real though. Absolutely. Good hunting! Come back soon! Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow. 
burn from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. And now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground, like potatoes. And hot because, um... They, uh, explode. Anyway, what's up? It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't screw up. Welcome to have yourself a night.
nice visit, partner. Good to see you. Ah, a fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome. All of which can be yours, for the right price. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Take your pick. Thanks. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, all right? Welcome to Vegas. Again, America the Magnificent. This is the 